when we study ecology, it's good to know where we can study ecology. And it, interesting fact, eco, okay, in ecology, comes from the Greek word oikos, which means home. Okay. So you can study ecology inside your home, but we usually study it outside of the home. So let's look at some of our different levels of organization within the larger um, ecosystem. So first you can study beyond just an individual organism, you could look at a population. So hopefully you remember from our discussion of, um, I think we talked about this with evolution, a population is a group of organisms that can successfully breed together. Um, everybody in the one population belongs to the same species. So we could look at a population, this picture just shows a single rhinoceros, but we could look at a population of rhinos. If we look at the rhinoceros and then maybe the oxpeckers, the birds that live on the rhinoceros and they have a mutualistic relationship, now we're studying a community. And a community equals all of the living organisms in one area. So we could also look at the grasses that the rhinoceros eats, etc. When we look at a food web, we're studying a community. When we start to look at everything beyond just the organisms, that's when we're studying an ecosystem. So that includes both the biotic, the living, and the abiotic, the non-living parts of the environment. Okay, so all of those factors coming into play. So in addition to looking at the food webs and interactions and symbiotic relationships and predation, etc., now we're also looking at water availability, temperature, sunlight, soil, things like that. That's looking at an ecosystem. When we study areas that within the world that all kind of have similar ecosystems. Okay? We're looking at biomes. Um, so these are areas that basically have very similar climate. So looking at temperature and precipitation, and then because the climate is, this, is similar, then a lot of times a lot of the organisms, the plants and animals are similar as well. When we look at everything all together, we're studying the biosphere which is, remember, bio means living, okay? and then sphere thinks circle. So it's all of the parts of Earth that support life. So it includes part of the land, the lithosphere, includes part of the air, the atmosphere, and includes water, the hydrosphere, where all of that comes together, all of the parts that support life, that's the biosphere. Um, and if we think about Earth right here, if you think about Earth like an apple, and the peel of the apple would be representative of the biosphere. So most of the Earth's lithosphere, the crust, doesn't actually support life. Most of the atmosphere doesn't support life. But it's that very thin layer, the biosphere, um, kind of where all of the magic happens.